In this video I'll show you how to use Logic's Groove Track and Groove Templates. The groove of a song often refers to the rhythmic feel of its music and the way that instruments interact with each other to create a combined rhythmic effect. To better understand this concept, let's look at some examples. Here I have two drum loops. Listen to sample A which is quantized. And now compare it to sample B. Drums are usually responsible for the groove of your track, so taking a straight quantized beat and then placing certain notes in each measure either slightly ahead or slightly behind can mimic the natural sound of a human drummer. Here is another example. The lines here represent position of each hit. Now let's add some swing to it by adding tiny delays to some hits. The further you push sequence of grid, the more swung it is. If you learn how to use it, you will be able to create a certain feel and make people want to move or dance to your music. We can go back to Logic now to see how that works. Here we've got a simple four track piece to play with. Please be gentle with me. It's The drum sample provides a rhythmic foundation and I would like the bass to follow it. You can see that some of the bass notes are a bit delayed. In some cases that's totally fine, but here I want to change how drums and bass work together. Logic lets you control timing of both MIDI and audio tracks with the groove track feature. First you need to enable it in the track header. Now I can set one track as a groove track and match or synchronize the timing of other tracks in the project to it. You can notice that bass notes are slightly shifted to match drum transients. Now let's try matching it with the hi-hat track. You can see that it got messy and a few hits even disappeared. That's because the drum sample doesn't have enough transient information. Let's try the opposite. I'm gonna open a hi-hat loop and apply some swing to it. And now I can use that as a reference to match other tracks. This hi-hat pattern has way more transient points to rely on, so that should work better. So with this setup you could affect your entire project's timing with a single hi-hat pattern. With this in mind you can create MIDI templates that will be used as groove foundations. Some drum machines and samplers like MPC are famous for its swing and you can find them online or use the link in the description to download them for free. Here I copied two MPC style swing templates. Those are just MIDI tracks where notes are placed in a certain way and you can use that to apply that classic swing to any of your tracks. Let's see how that works. This time I will go a bit deeper and use groove templates. Select MIDI region then go to Inspector, click on Quantize and make it a Groove Template. Next we can pick any track and make sure Flex Mode is on so you can actually use quantization. You can see how Logic stretches the sample with this feature. So now I can select Save Template from the list and there you go. I'm gonna repeat the process, but this time choose more pronounced swing. 75% is a bit extreme, but let's see what happens. You can hear some artifacts, but overall it sounds good. Both saving groove templates and using groove track in the main window work fine. It's up to you how to approach it. Now let's try applying the swing to entire track and hear it in action. First using 55% swing. Please be gentle with me. It's been a long road. And now let's try 75%. Please be gentle with me. It's been a long road. And that's all I have today. Check out the link in the description if you want those MIDI groove templates. With this knowledge you can now focus on being rhythmically creative. So have fun.